guys, it's Felicia with Happily Ever After Living. Today is Tuesday. Today is Tuesday, February 21st. So if you guys saw in my last video, I mentioned how I am still doing intermittent fasting, but I've switched to um, modified alternate day fasting. So in today's video, I thought it would be pretty fun to show you like uh, what I eat in a day. And today just so happens to be a down day, which is where I only eat 500 calories. I know. I know, don't go crazy, don't go, don't you do that, don't go crazy. So what I wanna share with you is, actually before I begin, let me share with you guys some pictures of the things that I ate yesterday. So I'll insert some pictures here and I'll do a little bit of a voiceover sharing like the things that I ate yesterday. And I think maybe that'll give you a better idea of like, okay, maybe she's not killing herself. And I'm definitely not starving myself. So yesterday after my workout, I opened my eating window with some pineapple grit, salmon, buffalo chicken dip that I truly love from Aldi, some Triscuits, tartar sauce, and also some coffee with organic half and half. The next small meal I had was more Triscuits, some more salmon, more buffalo dip, and also some pickles. Later I had some pepperoni slices, more Triscuits, more of that buffalo dip. I'm telling you guys, it's so good. And I also made myself a Caesar salad. I also had more Triscuits, more dip, as well as a LaCroix, and I also had some watermelon prior to closing out. I think this was about an eight hour eating window. All right, so I hope that that helps a little bit for you guys to understand that what, I've, what I'm currently doing is I lift Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and Monday, Wednesday, Fridays are days for me where I can basically, I'm not gonna say eat whatever I wanna eat because I'm always pretty like aware of what I'm eating, but I do allow myself to eat in volume, which is what I truly, truly love. I love feeling full after I have my meals. I truly love that. And I also enjoy being able to eat the foods that I, I really enjoy, which don't we all, don't we all? Yes. So today um, is a cardio day for me. Basically, today I'm only walking. So honestly, I really don't need as much caloric intake as I would on a day that I'm lifting. So this has been working out very well for me. One more thing, you guys, okay. So it's currently 6.38. I've been up doing work. Sometimes I work at the table, sometimes I work in my office, sometimes I work on the couch, whatever. But when I was cleaning the table, I noticed that the boys left this on the table. Okay, I have a little message behind this. And when it comes to the way that we eat, particularly moms or women that like pick from other people's plates. So all weekend, we celebrated Valentine's Day. Like at every meal, there was like a little something special, a note, a card, something. So throughout the weekend, there were a few containers with like different chocolates inside of them. So there were three containers. One was like Batman and the other was like a Star Wars container. They were all filled with like, you know, different gifts and stuff. And then there was also this one that was filled with like peanut butter Reese cups. So our kids know, like if I tell you to put something up or put it away, like do that. If I have to tell you like multiple times and I just assume that you don't want it, like it's not that important to you. The Batman one, they put up, the Star Wars, they put up, but this got left on the table twice. So this morning I noticed, I'm like, it is Tuesday morning. Obviously they don't want it, right? Like, hello. So then I found myself, I was like, you know, what can I use this for? You guys, I got this from Walgreens. And remember, we celebrated Valentine's Day after the fact. So I got this from Walgreens and I think I may have paid like 70 something cents for it. Like the container and the chocolate, okay? So I'm like, what can I use this for? Like, I, I don't wanna just throw it away. Like, I'm sure I can find something. And it just reminded me of like before I was doing fasting and even like before I started my 100 pound weight loss journey, like whenever I would like clean up the table from dinner or like I would like pick, like if there was like leftover food, like why did I feel the need like to eat it myself? You know, like I wasn't hungry. I mean, obviously they took out what they want. They took out what they wanted. Before when I would pick up, pick from the kids food, like afterwards, I had already eaten the food that I wanted, but I was just so afraid of like wasting the food or like throwing it away. But was I really wasting it by adding extra pounds to my body, by eating crap I shouldn't have been eating? Like I had no business eating, I'm not judging anyone else, but for me, I had no business eating chicken nuggets. Like why was I eating the last few chicken nuggets when obviously they didn't want it? Why did I feel that I had to be the trash can? So. I don't know, I just, I thought about that this morning. I'm like, I'm sitting 
sitting here like I'm wasting, well, no longer waste, but I wasted time and energy putting into like, well, maybe I can use it. I don't need this. There, I, I don't need it at all. And then again, 70 cents. And I was even like, well, who can I give it to? Maybe I can find someone to give it to. Yeah. No one wants this. I mean, maybe someone does, but there's nothing wrong with just, it's okay, Felicia, it served its purpose. They enjoyed it. It was so fun when they opened it. They, uh, look, all the candy's gone. <laughs> they enjoyed the candy. You can let it go, girl. You can let it go. And I just wanna remind you guys that whenever you're cleaning the table from dinner, lunch, breakfast, whatever, those little crumbs, they don't have to go on your body. Like, it's okay to just, shove them in the trash and when you think about well i don't want to waste money well i did that for years and now i'm trying to lose the weight so like are you really wasting money when like now you're having to put in like more time and more energy and like trying to lose all those extra pounds extra calories so i don't know i'm just ranting but something i thought about and i was like i need to share with my girl so so far this morning again we're doing a what i eat in a day i've had a cup of coffee and usually I try to hydrate a lot in the mornings, but because I'm doing six miles outside, like not on the treadmill, I don't wanna have to pee. <laughs> I don't wanna have to pee, so I'm going to hydrate when I come back. Oh yeah, and also in the last video, I shared like a few positives from the last two weeks, and I didn't tell you guys that I actually ran, well, ran walk my fastest six miler. Yeah, that was like really cool. I can tell that I'm getting so much stronger. My goal was to finish it in like two hours. I'm gonna show you here in a second, I'm sorry. Okay, so on February 12th, and I just put the picture in here, my, my goal was to do six miles under two hours, and I actually did it in one hour and 34 minutes. So that was pretty cool. That was pretty snazzy. Definitely getting stronger, and I like that a lot. All right guys, so my 10 a.m. patient actually called and canceled with like plenty of warning. So she called like before I even took a shower. So, so I'm currently in my workout top and my pajamas, but I thought this would be a great opportunity for me to show you guys what I will be eating today. So with alternate day fasting, you have one day where you intentionally eat more. It's also called like an update. And then you have a down day where you're intentionally eating about 500 calories. Technically you're eating about 25% of what your body would typically need like in a regular day. Um, so you're eating about 20, 25% of those calories. For me, I'm doing about 500. Actually today it comes up to like 525, but I'm gonna share it with you guys. Um, but what I wanna share with you guys is that I am definitely a volume eater. So for example, I will be eating this entire container of greens, it's spinach and arugula. And this entire container only has 35 calories in it. And for my dressing, I'll be using some apple cider vinegar as well as this container of guac. So you see here, this container of um, baby spinach and arugula, as I mentioned, it has 35 calories. And like for today, calories are really the only thing that I'm looking at. Yeah, 35 calories but it's good stuff right and then this guac i buy these packages from aldi and you can see here it has 120 calories per cup so i'll have this with this and some apple cider vinegar salt and pepper um and then this is some ground beef that i need to cook today so i'm going to divide these into four ounce pieces look i am so bad i stuck that in the refrigerator and didn't cover it four ounce servings prior to cooking it the caloric count for four ounces is 280 calories i'll also have i'll have two of these stuffed um, portobello mushrooms they are so good i love these things these also come come from aldi and for two of them only 90 calories so this is going to be very filling and then i'll also have um, on my down days or low calorie days i do allow myself to have like a flavored beverage during my eating window so i'll have this Lacroix. it is a raz and cranberry sparkling water i have found that having like a carbonated type drink also helps me to feel more full um but yeah like this is what i'll be having today and i don't feel deprived at all because i know tomorrow Tomorrow, like immediately after because of the way my windows are set but like immediately after I finish my workout like it's go time your girl gets to eat like and honestly with with modified alternate day fasting you're actually intentionally overeating like I don't want to call it a refeed day like I don't want to make it sound like a binge like I'm not saying like go and binge the next day 
But for me, I literally get to eat whatever I want to eat. That's when I typically like throw down like the protein and all of the other yummy good stuff. So currently I've been fasting for 17 hours, but I still don't feel hungry yet. So I'm gonna go ahead and prepare this because I thought maybe I would come home later and um, make lunch. But instead of coming home to make my lunch, what I'm actually gonna do is see another patient during that lunch, but make my lunch now so I can take it with me since the patient can't. <laughs> Now I do want to add that if I were preparing this for someone else that I would probably be a little bit more particular about the way that I'm seasoning it but this is for me like I just eat food I'm not that picky so you'll notice that I went ahead and I measured out like all of them not to say that every day that I'm doing 500 calories I'm gonna have these like I'll probably eat two of those tomorrow who knows but at least I know that these are four ounces and that they're 280 calories if I wanted to have them on a down day. I think I've mentioned many times before on the channel that if you're gonna cook, like just try to cook for like more than one day, you know, because that really helps you when you can cook in advance. All right, so if any of you live with other people, I'm sure you'll appreciate this. So I wanted to take these cute little, one of these cute little containers but I can't find the lid to either of these. Like I wanted to put my apple cider vinegar in there, but I can't find the lid. So you have multiple people that are doing dishes in the house. Sometimes these actually get thrown away because my lids get thrown away because people don't know if it's like reusable, if it's trash or whatever. But, um, and then I found this lid and I was like, well, this is cute. Let me find the uh, container that goes to it. And I can't find the container that goes to this lid. <laughs> Anyways, all right, so here is the apple cider vinegar that I'll be using today. And you can see, hopefully, that it has zero calories. So I found this <laughs> jar. I hate taking glass with me for work. It's what we're doing. So I'm gonna pour some apple cider vinegar in here. That much, cause I do like it a little, a little soggy, a little sloppy. And then I'm gonna pour some salt and pepper in here. And if I had allowed it, some if I had allowed a few calories for um, for some olive oil, that would have been kind of yummy too to have that. You know, I could pour. I do use more salt. This is Himalayan salt, so I do use more salt now that I'm fasting than I typically do um, like before because I don't eat a ton of standard American diet food so I don't really eat a lot of food that's like um, overly processed so I do tend to add salt to my diet for electrolyte balance all that good stuff I think I'm actually gonna take this out and pour it in here not pour it but scrape it in here and then just shake it up and make it into a nice dressing so that when I'm out on the road it's just easier to pour onto the salad. See that? I think that looks so good. It's gonna be so yummy on these greens. I'm so excited. Oh, so let's look at the total calorie count. All right, so let's do a quick caloric count. So we have the ground beef at 280 calories, plus the two mushrooms are 90, plus the arugula and spinach, which is 35, plus the guac, which is 120, and apple cider vinegar zero. So yeah, we've got a total of, oops, so goofy. Anyways, I think I, <laughs> You guys saw it was 525 calories. I don't know what I did. Maybe I multiplied it by two. I don't know, you gotta laugh at yourself sometimes. So yeah, I'm gonna throw this all in my bag, shower, get dressed for work, and I'm out of here. But I will check in whenever I do break my fast and whenever I get ready to eat. And also, I'll take coffee with me, mineral water, because I drink both of those when I'm fasting, like clean fasting. And then I also take regular water. Like I just leave the house with a whole bunch of liquids, seriously. Hydration is important. Okay guys, so it is around 1.30 ish and I am about to break my fast. So, I am a messy eater. 
so I do wear a bib sometimes particularly when like you know I'm still working so I've got more patience to see and I don't want to look like they don't need to know what I have for lunch you know what I mean so I have this tray here that just snaps to my stirring wheel all right so I'm not gonna have this yet I'm gonna have this later I'm gonna have the LaCroix though and I keep these in my lunch bag. Like whenever we get extra silverware. Culture, isn't there a fancy name? Culture? <laughs> I don't know what it's called. I can't remember. Okay. So seatbelt comes off. Oh, my battery's dying. Really? Going to end my fast. 21 hours. 21 hours and 42 minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and end the fast here. All right. And first bite. I'm going to have the mushroom. That was so good. And I also put mustard on my burger. See that? Mustard is zero calories. Now see, I get to eat all of this. I love greens. And it varies. Like one time I just had like fries and salmon. and So it depends on what I'm in the mood for. And today I'm in the mood for greens. So... My camera decided to die, so I'm just gonna have to use the phone. So, whenever I'm fasting, I don't have flavored beverages, so that's why I enjoy this in my window. Zero calories, zero sweeteners, so freaking good. All right, guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and finish eating because I don't have a lot of time and. I tend to eat fast. <laughs> I don't want to do it on camera. All right, so my eating window has been open for like 20 minutes. Look at this from the vinegar. Oh well, I'll be fine. I gotta put a mask back on anyway. I wonder if some gloss will help that. All right, I put on a little gloss. My eating window today has been open for about 20 minutes and I went ahead and closed it. So now I'll just fast until tomorrow. And after I lift, I'll probably start out with, I don't know. I still have this buffalo chicken dip um, from Aldi that I purchased. It is so good. Oh my gosh. So I may have some eggs. I don't know. Buffalo dip, whatever. I Basically whatever I want. So that's pretty cool. Like I don't feel like I am depriving myself for any of that. Because tomorrow it's like whatever you want girl it's fine i do feel very satisfied from the meal that i had and on my 500 calorie days i aim to eat food that is like nutritionally like just a big bang for your buck like the greens the beef the mushrooms but sometimes like i mentioned before i have salmon which is still good for you but like and fries you know what i'm saying i'm currently at a park i'm gonna go throw the salad container this is what i have so i'm gonna go throw the salad container and like the bottom container away so that vinegar doesn't spill out in my car and i'm gonna head back to work see the rest of my patients hey guys it's felicia from the future it's currently thursday morning i did film a what i eat in a day like the following day so i did film an update but the video, as you can see, was definitely getting too long. So I will upload what I ate in a day, like unlimited calories for me. I just ate to my heart's desire. Um, so I will upload that video on Saturday. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you had the opportunity to see kind of like how I'm doing alternate day fasting and how it's working for me. And as always, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.